Could leaky gut be causing your acne? Today, I'm going to be sharing seven action steps you can take to start to heal your gut to support clear skin. Yes, for real. And my favorite tool for getting really clear on the root cause of your breakouts. So stay tuned until the end for that. Hi there, I'm Jill Therese, and after 15 years of acne struggles, I finally cleared my skin naturally and created my acne clearing program, The Clear Code, to help you do the same. Seven years and thousands of clients later, I made it my life's work to get you clear skin without pills, creams, and or crazy hormones. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So what is leaky gut? Leaky gut actually refers to intestinal permeability, and I'm gonna to go to the science for the details on this because you know how I love science. Here's a science-y definition. The intestinal barrier includes surface mucus, epithelial layer, and immune defenses. Epithelial permeability results from increased paracellular transport, apoptosis, or transcellular permeability. As I've gone through my research about leaky gut, I've realized and seen in scientific journals, etc., that it's not so much a scientific diagnosis as much it's kind of used in popular culture and referred to as leaky gut, but it's more accurate to call it intestinal permeability. Here's another little quote from the science people, and I'll link to these studies below. Given the current perceptions on leaky gut that appear informed mostly by folklore or overreaching conclusions based on limited data, it's important to provide a balanced view of the scientific data to facilitate the role of clinicians in addressing the nature diagnosis and treatment of abnormal intestinal barrier function in humans. So kind of to my point, our intestines and our stomach, they're, they have a lining to them. I think of them like kind of balloons. This is not science -y. it's just how I think about it conceptually. And leaky gut refers to an intestinal permeability. Kind of think about it like a balloon with a bunch of holes in it. Again, that is not a scientific description, but that is how I've come to understand what intestinal permeability means. Here's why leaky gut is important to your skin and your acne. So when I was growing up, I was severely constipated, okay? This was like a common issue for me my whole life, and I talk about it often. I feel like I talk about poo all the time. And when I stumbled upon these medical journals, and information about the link between gut health and your skin, I was kind of shocked. I discovered John H. Stokes and Donald Pillsbury. They were actually a few of the first doctors to link gut inflammation to overall inflammation. And they were among the first to propose using lactobacillus acidophilus cultures to remedy gut issues, so probiotics. And I also found this additional article from Dr. Whitney Bowe and Dr. Alan Logan, where they share so much information, including a quote below. The lines of communication as mediated by gut microbes may be direct and indirect. Yada, 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 you can read. The most important part that really shook me when I was in my mid-20s and starting my acne clearing journey was this quote. Yet there appears to be more than enough supportive evidence to suggest that gut microbes and the integrity of the gastrointestinal tract itself are contributing factors in the acne process. And truly it was like 10,000 things coming together in my brain. Like I had been dealing with gut health issues and acne issues my whole life. And everything I read, I, just, I had never heard of this. And that's really why I'm here and that's why I do what I do because I wanna empower you with information that we're, we're not commonly taught. So now that we're clear that what happens in your gut impacts your skin, here are some common reasons for leaky gut or intestinal permeability. Number one, you your stomach, like the lining of your stomach, your intestine, intestinal permeability has been compromised due to long-term hormonal birth control pill use or even long-term antibiotic use. So you aren't able to absorb and properly use anti-inflammatory skin healing ingredients from your food like zinc and vitamin A. Two, the bacteria in your stomach has been compromised from excessive antibiotic use like I just mentioned and you can't process out toxins or absorb them correctly. Or three, you have been chowing down on some foods that you know bother your stomach. So like, you know you have food allergies or food sensitivities and you have continued to eat those foods. <laughs> These three issues, the fact that you may not have a healthy balance of good bacteria in your body, the fact that you've been on the hormonal birth control pill for a long time, so it's negatively, it, you're unable to absorb nutrients and you're dealing with nutrient deficiencies and or potential food allergies, food sensitivities, all can contribute to leaky gut. So what can you do? Here are seven action steps you can take to start to heal leaky gut naturally. Number one, address potential nutrient deficiencies with a multivitamin. 
These nutrient deficiencies can really come about for a whole number of reasons. Like I mentioned, if you've been on the pill for any significant length of time, you are chronically, you are most likely chronically deficient in a few key nutrients that you need for clear skin. Vitamins like vitamin B, vitamin B3, B6, B12, folate, magnesium, and zinc, they have all been shown to be lower in people who have taken the pill. Number two is to grab a quality probiotic to begin to support the growth of good bacteria versus opportunistic bacteria, which is the bad type in your gut flora. What is a probiotic exactly? Probiotics are a natural way to reintroduce healthy bacteria. So you're actually like, if you take a probiotic, it's a live culture. So it's a live bacterium. I grab the ones in the refrigerated section. I take them every day as well. And what I look for when I grab them right now, the one I'm on because I was having some gut issues recently is a hundred billion microorganisms. But if you're just starting out, don't take a hundred billion. One. If you're just starting out with probiotics, I would grab one with 10 billion probiotics, 10 billion live cultures, as well as um, make sure it has lactobacillus, acidophilus, and bifidobacterium. It most likely does, but those are the things you want to look for when you're grabbing a probiotic. The third action step you can take is to begin to eat fermented foods. Fermented foods are things like kimchi, sauerkraut, tofu, tempeh, and they have a beneficial effect on our intestinal ecosystem by enhancing the production of healthy bacteria in our stomach again. Fermented foods are cultured and or fermented with use of lactic acid, which lactic acid producing bacteria. And this lactic acid producing bacteria also inhibits the growth of disease causing microbes. The fourth action step you can take is to begin researching and decide to take a pro prebiotic. I usually focus on prebiotics from a food perspective. I don't worry too much about it in a capsule form, but I focus on the foods. Some prebiotic food types are asparagus, chicory, dandelion greens, endive, garlic, green tea, honey, onions, and leeks. The fifth action step you can take, and don't yell at me, but it's important, is to start drinking more water. Now, this will not clear your skin, but it will support movement in your bowels, okay? I sound like an old person when I said that. Um, you just have to focus on making sure food like constipation is the worst for your acne the worst for leaky gut and the more water you drink the more you're going to support the elimination of waste there i said it in a mature way that didn't sound like i was 104. action step number six is to explore an elimination diet and begin removing specific potential sensitive food sensitivities and or triggers specifically strategically thoughtfully one at a time do not remove all gluten, eggs, dairy, fish, blah, 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 and like only eat spinach and kale and then no. If you think you have an issue with dairy or if you think you have an issue with gluten, be really specific about that one issue. Keep a food journal, take pictures of your skin. You wanna be consistent and balanced in your approach to removing potential food allergies. If you go like full hog on a bunch of different things, you will not know what's going on. You'll only be frustrated and you'll be starving and those things will not help you. The seventh action step you can take to support leaky gut issues is to check out the supplement L-glutamine. It's a great supplement to check out because it's the most common amino acid in your body. And it's incredibly important to the reproduction of cells. It can help stabilize blood sugar levels and really support the healing of your gut lining. So I love this supplement and I recommend it often for gut lining. So I really want you to take action right now, that being said, because I know I covered a lot. The first thing that you can do if you want to get a little bit more clear on your root acne triggers is to download and take my 30 second 10 question acne personality quiz. You can find that via the link below and it'll help you define where you're breaking out, give you three action steps that you can start to take to heal your acne naturally, along with three recipes you can try. Also, if you'd like to join a safe, private, and empathetic community of people dealing with things that you are, we have a private Facebook group where you can meet other people struggling with skin stuff as well. So find the link below for that. If you like this video, <laughs> type yes, and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one. And also that being said, if you have a friend, brother, sister, lover, mother, cousin, who knows that they want to heal their acne naturally, knows that there's a deeper root issue happening with their skin, but really needs support, please send them this video. I would love to be the kind of like spark in their brain that helps support them and helps them really start to get clear on why they're breaking out. Okay, I will talk to you soon.